Alrighty. Hello, bases. Your kings have arrived. Wild Bat here. And Brian. And we are back with Batman the Animated Series. Last episode, that was... The, oh, um, Appointment in Crime Alley. Oh, yeah, yeah. Different uh, different type of episode. No real, like, major super villains. Right, it was one. just, um, not uh, Falcone, uh, Daggett yeah. trying to blow up Crime Alley. Yeah. I thought it was a decent one, though, for... Uh, oh, yeah. I like how this series kind of gets into, like, other characters. It's not always, like, the main villains that you commonly right. think of when you Freeze, think Freeze, Joker, Two-Face, yeah. but then, like, oh, here's criminals. Yep. Uh, so this week we have uh, POV, point of view, perhaps. I didn't. I didn't get to read the description before we jump in, so I really have. I saw Batman like hovering over somebody, but that's about it. In typical Batman form, well, of course. <laughs> uh, but before we get started, we have one quick addition to the uh, background. Room. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. In honor of The Batman releasing as of recording today, this Friday, which we saw yesterday. Highly, highly recommend. recommend. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. But we'll get to that later. For now, Brian, <laughs> hit play. Let's do it. I have no idea what we're looking that at. It looks right like here. a brain I was cloud. Thinking that too, yeah. A brain cloud. A brow. A brow. A brainstorm. I saw a donut in a dumpster and someone hit me from behind. Do you realize what this means? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yep. And in five stinking minutes you with you. Why does why does he have a candy bar? He, he's always eating. Well, one of you did. I was gonna eat that. Maybe this is like a, a three perspectives episode. I love when they do that. Me they too. do that a few times in this series. Hey, I'll tell you who's to blame. I'm telling you, Lieutenant Batman blew the bus. Montoya and Wilkes were late. It is Montoya, all right. Yep. We weren't late. I was waiting for Wilkes and Montoya when I saw that plastic. I think Wilkes was in The Dark Knight also. Was he? I, I could have sworn that he was one of the dirty cops. Okay. We've been ratted out here, boys. <laughs> Must have been Batman. What was that? Oh, come on, man. In plain sight? That's an axe. Freeze, maggots. You're all under arrest. Got an axe, a crowbar. I mean, crowbar is kind of typical, but in, like, oh, like you bring an axe to a robbery and then a guy shows up, that can get morbid fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Even he's scared oh, of the axe. Yep. Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart. <laughs> you looking for me? Name's Ozzy. <laughs> oh, God, he's so great. Yeah. <laughs> I like the great tint over everything. Yeah, I was looking at that. What? It's probably from, like, all the smoke. Lucky I was there to save his butt. <laughs> yep, that's exactly how it happened. Mm -hmm. Last bit of investigation. So pipe down or get out. He knows I was supposed to go in Okay, is the commissioner higher than lieutenant? Should be. So why is he talking to Gordon like that? I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, because I thought in The Dark Knight he was Lieutenant Gordon. And then the commissioner. Yeah. yeah, right? I think. I want to see you're right. I guess that just means I gotta rewatch that movie. Oh, my arm is being twisted, so. <laughs> I wonder if you could take this episode and cut everything how it happened chronologically. Like, um, he went in, Batman got him out, then they arrived. She said go after those two. Cut to his perspective here, and then cut to whatever Montoya's perspective is gonna be later. That would be interesting. Oh, 
Oh, that sucks. That's not terrifying. No kidding. I guess Batman must have gotten a second wind after Detective Bullock dragged him out. <laughs> I like the sarcasm there. Mm -hmm. I was just about to cut them when Yeah, the comic fell. Come down. This is Deckham. This is Deckham. Just yeah. I'm a good haymaker. I like the picture of a doctor. <laughs> Half cock doc. But it's all over. It all ends. You know what? I'm suspended. That means I don't care anymore. Yep. <laughs> I'm suspended from caring. Oh no, she's just going in rogue. I wonder if she's going to come across a heat from Godzilla in there. That would be, be an amazing crossover. <laughs> but this came first, so yep. we would have to see them and Ben. By Godzilla. several years, in fact. I'm glad they didn't take their keys. <laughs> I'm no kidding. How about we skewer him? He's fiddling with his uh, belt. Utility belt. I was wondering what that was. Hanging around all day. <laughs> you fool! You didn't take his gloves! <laughs> What, Eagle, what, Eagle. Was he just shaking there? <laughs> hey, oh. he, he. You think she weighs a little more than 108? <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting another guy to fall Oh on god, him. that would be great. Oh, that's a cool shot. Yeah. What are you gonna do with that small of rope? <laughs> I'm gonna give him a rope burn on oh, his arm. Oh gosh, well, on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> or choke him, I guess. Yeah. I was half expecting them to be crushed by that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. That definitely would have killed them. Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother, I talked just like this! <laughs> he looks like Judge Doom a little bit. Yeah, yeah, totally. I got some Judge Doom vibes. <laughs> nope, pretty sure those guys are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Millions of dollars of property damage. You haven't lost your touch. <laughs> what is that from again? Batman v Superman. Or no, uh, no Justice, Justice League. League. Yeah. Yes. The um, the Whedon mm. cut. Justice League. Is that line not in um, uh, the Snyder cut? I don't think it is. It m I know most of his dialogue was cut for the Snyder cut. Which is too bad, because I liked it. I mean, thank you for getting J.K. Simmons back as Gordon for our Batgirl. Yes. Side note, did you know J.K. Simmons is the voice of the yellow M&M? I think I knew that, yeah. Uh, this is an envelope. <laughs> uh, this is an envelope. The collar belonged to all three of us. It was a team effort. Don't you mean four? Oh, they never remember me. <clears throat> All right, I, that was a good episode. I, I love that, like the concept of a different perspective, sim same story kind of episode. Me too. Um, yeah, uh, just very unique, and, and again, not something that you see from an. A, a, cartoon that's played after school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 
They, they really take it to the next level with the storytelling. Yeah. This almost reminds me of an episode that we're going to get to later on where there's three kids talking about their encounter with Batman. Ooh. And each of the encounters is a different animation style. Ooh. Um, so it's, it's, that's a cool one from what I remember. Cool. But it, it's kind of like that where it's like how the officer was like, you know, he pointed and then a gra you know, something shot from his hand, mm -hmm. but it was really just the grappling hook type of thing. Yeah. Like, it was kind of, it's kind of like that. So I, I, I think that's kind of neat how they perceive Batman, you know? Oh, I had to save him. He shot something out of his finger. Yeah. He disappeared. He shot, <laughs> what is it? He, he shot, his hand sparkled or something? Some... <laughs> <laughs> he shot sparklers. Oh, man. That was um, a good one, though. Yeah, it was. Uh, Harvey Bullock back. Uh, Renee Montoya, like, given a bigger role than her previous uh, um, appearance in the first Joker episode. Yeah, about time. Uh, and then this Ricky... Don't, I already don't remember his name. <laughs> As you would say, rookie number 147? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, another good episode in Batman the Animated Series. Uh, tune in next time for some more Batman adventures. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, help the channel grow. Hit that little notification bell so you know when we do more reactions like this and when I upload my other videos. Your kings are departing.